So after our partial fraction work, we conclude that I'm taking the inverse Laplace transform of e to the negative 3 pi s times quantity 1 over s minus s over s squared plus 1. So that means that I'm taking the inverse Laplace transform of e to the negative 3 pi s over s minus the inverse Laplace transform of e to the negative 3 pi s times s over s squared plus 1. The first term is just a straight up lookup of table entry number 19. And so it is u of t minus 3 pi. But the second lookup is number 5 coupled with number 13. And this is minus u of t minus 3 pi times cosine of 3, or sorry, of t minus 3 pi. Why is that? Well, quickly reviewing. This is my capital F of S. So if capital F of S is written above, then little f of t Or, I mean, if this is capital of F of S, then little f of t is equal to cosine of t. And so this guy right here is f of t minus 3 pi. So now that we have all that, the implication is that little y of t, well, that's just the inverse Laplace transform of all this capital Y stuff broken into two pieces. And so that's u of t minus pi, so at pi seconds, this thing turns on, and what does it turn on? It turns on sine of t minus pi, which is a sine function, telling us about the motion of the mass spring system, the mass in particular, and this is just a sine function that's been shifted pi units to the right on the time axis, because it's just been hanging out waiting for that hammer hit. And then I add to that the Laplace transform of the second term, the inverse Laplace transform. So there's a u of t minus 3 pi. All of this multiplying 1 minus cos t minus 3 pi. So now that we have this solution, let's try to figure out what the solution is trying to tell us. Well, let's write it out in piecewise form. For all time values greater than zero but less than or equal to, or but less than pi, I have zero. Let's call this the orange domain. And then, for all t values that are greater than pi but less than 3 pi, I just have sine of t minus pi. So from pi seconds onward till 3 pi, I just have this simple sinusoidal motion. Let's call this domain green. And then for t values that are greater than 3 pi, and then forever, what do I have? I have a sine of t minus pi, which comes from the Dirac pulse, plus 1 minus cosine of t minus 3 pi for t less than or greater than or equal to 3 pi. And we'll call this the red domain.